going on, Warren G. Harding? It is Mr. Whitaker here, and I want to tell you about a new feature on WSCN. WSCN Power Words. We're here to supercharge your vocabulary with some new terms that you can try. So you'll see a little sprinkle, some new words you may not be completely familiar with, but our students here in WSCN will be using them, and it could be a way to like add to your powerful word toolbox that you can use every day. So check out the WSCN Power Words starting this episode. Hello, Warren G. Harding. This is Friday, October 4th, 2024. I'm Derek. And I'm Kennedy. Here's what we have for you today. Warren G. Harding Homecoming Spirit Week is next week, Monday, October 7th through Thursday, October 10th. Each day next week will be a different spirit day. We are asking that all staff and students please come out next week and dress up for each day. Have fun, be creative, and dress up all week. And don't be a nuisance. Please adhere to all Warren G. Harding student dress code rules, starting off with... Monday, Flag Day, come dress either as a country's flag or dress in the colors of their flag. Examples, USA, red, white, and blue, Italy, green, white, and red, etc. On Tuesday, we have Tropical Tuesday. Come dressed as if you're on vacation in a tropical paradise. And don't forget your sunscreen. Wednesday, stereotypical travelers. You know those people you see in the airport and on the plane. Each grade level will come dress as a t- typical traveler. With freshman, ninth grade as the crybabies, that one baby that will not stop crying the entire flight. Sophomores, 10th grade, as the tacky toddlers, the ones who keep on kicking the seat as the flight is going on because their iPad died. Juniors, 11th grade, the pilots and or flight attendants, the ones who give you that snack and drink and are in charge of the plane and flight. Lastly, 12th graders, the old people in the plane, the ones that keep on getting up during the flight to use the restrooms and take forever to get both on and off the flights. Be creative. You have seen all four stereotypes of these on a flight or plane. Thursday, it's time for tacky tourists. We've all seen them. Tourists dress with their fanny packs, and I love whatever city shirts and hats. Constantly taking pictures of each city landmark and making sure they are in them as well. Come dressed in your tacky tourist best attire. Friday, no school, but game day versus the Cardinals of Cardinal Mooney High School. The student section theme this night is ESPN. Come dress in your favorite sports team jersey from around the world. Come cheer our Raiders onto a victory at Monkoff Stadium. Then, the big day on Saturday, October 12th. It's the homecoming dance from 6 to 9 p.m. It's the around the world themed dance in the Warren G. Harding Cafetorium. Tickets go on sale on October 8th, 9th, and 10th at Warren G. Harding. Tickets are $15 per person. In order to attend, you must be in the W. Tickets are cash only. Any questions, please message Don Harper on Teams. Come on, WGH staff and students. Let's make this homecoming spirit week one to remember as we travel around the world with our travel and wordly themed spirit days. Now, for those interested in bowling for our Raiders, open gym for both boys and girls teams will run every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 3 p.m. starting on October 7th, 2024 at Freeway Lanes on Parkman Road. It will cost $2 a game. Please have the money with you when you come to the bowling alley. Plan on bowling a minimum of two games. Open gym is not required, but it is highly recommended. Hope to see everyone interested in trying out at the lanes. It's almost Sweetest Day, so it's time for booze for your boo. These gift bags will be available for purchase in the cafeteria October 14th through the 18th for only $2 per gift bag. And you could have it delivered to your sweetest on October 18th during first period. So snag a boo for your boo and show you care. Warren City Schools is hosting its annual Stuff a Cruiser in conjunction with Warren Police Department and Orin on October 19th at the Warren Police Department from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please come support all of our Warren City pantries by dropping off various items that the students in our city need. Ladies, are you looking for a dress? For homecoming slash prom, gentlemen, do you need to step up your formal attire? Please use this link to set up a time to look through some of the dresses, men's dress clothes and shoes in our inventory right here at WGH. If you find something you like, it is yours to keep. You will be contacted by Miss Lukanik, Miss Andre, Miss Malia, or Mr. Martin via chat message to confirm your appointment. It's time for the prestigious 20 under 20 program from the Tribune Chronicle. Students interested in being nominated for the 20 under 20 program should see their counselor for nomination information. Students seeking nomination should submit their activity resume to their counselor or to Ms. Duncan in room 3104, 
by October 4th. The first YSU English Festival meeting will be on Tuesday, October 8th in the library. You will meet for a short informational meeting from 2.30 to 3. All are welcome. Questions? See Mr. Sutton in room 2243 or Ms. Party in 2209. See you Tuesday. We end with some yearbook news. If you're a senior and you have a senior photo you'd like to submit, simply email a high quality image of it to yearbookwgh at gmail.com. We're looking for pictures from the waist up. Full body pictures are too small unless cropped and that hurts the quality. Make sure people can see your face clearly. These are due by January 24th. Also, all Warren G. Harding students are invited to submit candid photos of things happening in your life at Warren Harding High School. Please include names and grade of everyone in the photo. This concludes your announcements for this week. Stay safe and have an amazing weekend, Raiders. What's up, Raiders? I'm Gianna. And I'm Jamari. And today we're here with your birthdays. Happy birthday to Dylan Smith, Sarai Dukes, Apple Girl Rusher, Seneca Crow. And happy birthday over the weekend to Lakia Bryant, Nevaeh Nevea, Nevea Milken, Brooklyn Blass, Leland Blass, Darius Hull, Amari Carson, and Trinity Thompson. And that's all we have for your today birthdays. Bye, Raiders. Peace. It's game day. I'm McKaylin. And I'm Kendrick, and we are here with your sports. Today, our varsity football team is traveling to Boardman to play the Spartans. Kickoff is at 7. And for this weekend, Saturday, the JV football team welcomes Boardman starting at 10 a.m. Our girls' soccer team is is hosting Nordonia at Molenkoff Stadium 2-4. to four. Let's hope everyone has a voracious <laughs> attitude to win these upcoming games. Bye, Raiders. Bye, Raiders. WSCN weather. What's up, Buttercup? I'm Shay, and I'm here with the weather update. So Friday's low will be 40 degrees between 7 and 8 a.m., and the high will be 75 between 2 and 3 p.m. Saturday's low will be 47 degrees between 6 and 7 a.m., and the high will be 73 between 3 and 4 p.m. Sunday's low will be 48 degrees between 5 and 6 a.m., and the high will be 75 at 2 p.m. with a 30% chance of rain. Hopefully our weather elements will merge together to create a beautiful symbiotic relationship this weekend. Bye, Raiders. Hey, Raiders, I'm Ava. And I'm Maria. And we're here with Lyrics Worth Your Time. The lyrics I chose are the only ones I want to tell are the ones I can call and this is by Drake and it's called Emotionless and I chose these lyrics because I feel like in life the ones that you can call are the ones you trust most. And I chose a song Jigsaw Falling Into Place by Radiohead and the lyric I chose was words are blunt instruments because it can be interpreted in many different ways and Radiohead is known for their eclectic music. So we have you Raiders. Have a great day Raiders. What's up, Warren G? I'm KBGs. And I'm Michaela, and we're here with This Day in History. So on This Day in History, on October 3rd, 1997, 69-year-old Hall of Famer Gordie Howe skates the first shift with Detroit Vipers in their International Hockey League opener, becoming the only professional in hockey to com compete in six decades. He was a true renegade against ageism. And on this day in history for me, on October 3rd, 1955, the first edition of Guinness Book of Records is published in Great Britain. It quickly proves to be a hit now, known as the Guinness World Records Book. The annual publication features a wide range of feats related to humans and animals. That's it. Go make history, Raiders. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She Good morning, Raiders. I'm Sebastian. And I'm Aubrey here with the best thing I saw this week. The best thing I saw this week was the fall weather. And the best thing I saw this week was Ava's senior night, which put me in a quandary because I couldn't figure out where to set her presents. That's all, Raiders. Have a fun weekend. Good afternoon, Raiders. I'm Tara, and I'm here with your weekend releases. This weekend, the new Joker movie, Joker Foley Ado, is released. And as of October 2nd, and the new 
first six episodes of Love is Blind is, of season seven is on Netflix. Also, a new Exploding Kittens VR game was just released on October 3rd. I guess you must be a wretched person to explode kittens. That's all we have for your weekend releases. Have a good day, Raiders. Oh, what's up, Raiders? I'm JC. And I'm Z-Bands. And we're here with your joke of the day. <laughs> what's your mercy? <laughs> what do you call an illegally... <laughs> What do you call an illegally parked frog? <laughs> what? <laughs> Toad. <laughs> hey, I got another one. I got another one. What do you what do you call a, a pig that do karate? What? <laughs> a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Bye racers. <laughs>